morning everyone and welcome back for another video here on the channel thank you so much for joining me on today's video so as everyone suggested or many people suggested I am bringing another little mini vlog back to you guys I'm going to show you a weekend in my life and we'll spend the weekend together and see how I spend my cash envelopes and everything in between that may happen so today is Saturday, October 23rd, and I just got paid yesterday on October 22nd from my full-time job. So now I'm going to be doing my weekend errands. If this happens to be your first time here on the channel, of course, I want to welcome you. Hello, my name is Monet and I am 24 years old. And here on this channel, I deal with all things finances and showcasing how I budget using the cash envelope system and I'm eliminating my debt with the help of the debt snowball method. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, then definitely hit that subscribe button and join the family and make sure you hit the bell so that you are always notified whenever I upload a new video. So currently I am on the way to do my grocery shop. It is 8.30 in the morning and it is a nice, cold, brisk, morning here in New Jersey it's saying that it's about 54 degrees so I got my nice hoodie and sweatpants on and I'm on the way to do my grocery shop if you watched my last cash envelope stuffing that I just uploaded I shared with you guys that my house has been bare in terms of groceries since I moved in about two weeks ago so I'm about to do a big grocery shop and stock up on all the necessities so when I do my grocery shop, that means I'm going to go to Walmart, I'm going to go to Aldi, and I'm going to go to ShopRite. I like to go to all three stores because I get the most sales when I go to all three, and it just works, so I have no problem with it. So I'm on the way to the grocery store, as I said, and once I get there, I'll bring you guys right along with me. Right, everyone so this is the damage that I did here at Walmart I tried to do the same separate section technique that I did last time where um, this half of the cart is all of my toiletries and then this half of the cart is all of my groceries that's how I divide my categories and this is what my cart is looking like we got stuff all over so now I'm just gonna go to checkout and pay for everything with my cash dividers
All right, guys, so this is the damage. Oh my goodness, I swear grocery shopping just takes a toll out of you. So this is everything that we got. It is currently 11.42, so that shows how long it took to grocery shop from 8.30 in the morning. I went and got us some breakfast, so my mom came to help me with all of this. So I got us both some breakfast. So we're going to sit down and eat this, and then we'll go ahead and put this stuff away, and I will proceed to get started with my Saturday. All right, guys, so I took everything out of the bag and I'm going to do a quick grocery haul. I've never done it before, so, you know, just bear with me. But this is everything from ShopRite, from Aldi, and from Walmart. So this is like our little freezer section. So I picked up some ground turkey and I love these uh, California pizza barbecue chickens. I got two of them. These are just a quick, good, easy meal to eat. Um, I also got some chicken breasts and some pork chops. Down here are chicken sausages. And this is the turkey sausage that I like to put in when I make the jambalaya. Over here, honestly, I don't even know <laughs> what this is. If I'm being honest, my mother recommended this. It says it's some pork roast with vegetables, so I'll be trying this for the first time and seeing if I like that. And then underneath it, I got chicken drumsticks. And the back is where all of the drinks are, so I got sparkling ice flavored water. I got uh, two Pepsis because Pepsi is just my weakness. I love that. I got the Simply Lemonade in the strawberry flavor. It's also really good. And then back here is just the orange juice. And then over here is a uh, fruit punch from Arizona. I got some french fries and I got two bags of corn on the cob, one of my favorite. And then I got three bags of broccoli. Over here we move over and I got um, a box of boiled rice and then I got Velveeta and I got some Pop-Tarts, and then I got some Chewy Dips. Um, in the back, I have ramen, because who doesn't love a good ramen? Uh, shake and bake for my pork chops, and then the jambalaya. I should probably preference that I'm not like a chef or anything, you guys. What I make is very basic, and I try to be healthy, but then I also, I am not healthy. So you will see that with the food <laughs> that I purchased. Um, back here is some healthy choice Throw in the microwave and eat them. I uh, got Goya rice. These dollar rice bags. These also are good. The Prego sauce for my spaghetti. I needed onion powder and garlic powder. These are my vitamins that I take every morning. And I picked up some ibuprofen. Um, here we also have some cherry mixed fruit. We have soup. I got two bottles of barbecue sauce, some peanut butter. I have Welch's fruit snacks. Picked up some syrup, spaghetti for the spaghetti. Down here I have some waffles. Back here I have my favorite cereal, which is Frosted Flakes. I will always have a box of this in my house. And then some lightly salted Lay's chips. And I picked up some chicken wings from Purdue as well. Got butter, I got some yogurt, I have sunflower seeds and walnuts, and then back here is the bread, and then these are my guilty pleasures. I have my cookies and Reese's. These are my favorite candy, so this is just like the Frosted Flakes. I will always have that in my house. Um, I'm not sure I showed you the honey. We picked up some honey. I picked up a bag of salad and some bananas. And then down here also is my water. So all of that was my groceries. And then I'll probably just, you know, put up in the corner a total of how much all of this came to. And that was my grocery shop. 
And then over here is the things that I consider my toiletries. So I took this out of my toiletries category. So I picked up uh, toilet paper and I picked up some paper towels. This down here um, is a mop that I needed to get for my apartment. So I took this out of my apartment fund. Um, but yeah, I, I got a mop because now I have hardwood floors. So I guess I should clean them. And then the last bit of my toiletries is over here. So I got this for my washer and dryer. I got this for my dishwasher. I like to put these around to leave a nice little scent around my house. Picked up some forks, got some OxyClean for the laundry. Um, I picked up some forks and spoons set for the kitchen. And then I picked up a nice towel to, you know, have a towel in the kitchen. That's everything. So now I'm gonna wipe all of this stuff down and put it away. All right, hello everyone. So now we are moving on to the next portion of my day and that is me getting into DoorDash and Uber. So it is currently 2 p.m. and I'm gonna go out here in DoorDash and Uber. So um, I'm gonna show you as much as I can when it comes to me accepting orders and uh, the money that I'll make at the end of it and how much I'm able to make. I will preference that when it comes to my area, it does vary in terms of busyness. So it's either going to be a good day or it's going to be a bad one. I never know. Uh, but I'm going to sign into my Uber, sign into my DoorDash, and I'm going to activate my Stride app to track my miles. And I'll show you guys uh, my hot warmer bags. So these are the bags that I keep in my back seat to keep the food warm. And now I'm just gonna log in and wait for my first order. So we will see how this goes. All right, guys, so I just received my first order. I was originally sitting somewhere else, uh, but then I drove out a little bit more into the highway to like the little plaza because I was sitting for too long. So it's now 2.50 and I just received my first order and it's from Panera. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little screenshot of the order. Um, so I'm just gonna go in here, grab the order, see if it's ready. Cause it said it's not gonna be ready till 2.57, but I'm gonna go in here and see if it's ready anyway. So let's go ahead and pick up our first order. guys so it is now five o'clock um a little bit of a slow start but things are starting to pick up now that it's dinner time so i'm hoping to get a little bit more money so right now i'm on the way to drop off this mcdonald's order and then hopefully the money keeps coming right after we drop this off Right, guys so i'm currently waiting in my little spot when i'm waiting for orders and as of right now uber does not have any quest so um it's just regular selection when i'm picking for those orders but doordash is having a three dollar peak pay um so if you aren't familiar how doordash and uber works 
Peak pays and quests are basically like additional money that we would get on top of an order. So um, when that is happening, I'm very select with the certain orders that I'm picking because in my mindset, when I'm out here picking orders, I want money that is at least $2 a mile to equate for the drive and my earnings. I like to do at least $2 a mile. So now if I'm getting a DoorDash order, I expect it to be bigger than average because of the $3 peak pay on top of the regular amount. So all that to say that I'm hoping now um, that DoorDash orders will be coming through and they'll be worth something. This peak pay is going on from five to nine. So I'm gonna try and stay out here as long as I can to earn as much as I can. That's all I have right now. And we're just waiting now for our next order. Hey guys, so it is very much later on in the evening. I have officially finished with my DoorDash and I wanted to come in and recap you guys on everything that happened because I don't know, it might be like little clips and stuff of showing me delivering the food, but I know that I get a lot of questions asking about my delivery process and what I do. So I went ahead and wrote down all of the orders and all of the total money that I was able to earn today. Uh, since with Uber, it takes some time for the tips to come through after you finish delivering, I wanted to make sure that everything was in for the night before I recap you guys. So as we know, I started my deliveries at two o'clock and I ended at 8.30. So that was about six and a half hours that I was out today delivering my food. I did a total of 10 orders across both apps for DoorDash and Uber. And I will show a clip of my mileage that I put on my car for the day. And it was about 70 miles that I put on the car. So in regards to the orders, the first order that I had was from Panera. And I'll go ahead and display the orders so you can see the totals, the pay, the customer tip, all of that. So for that first Panera order on DoorDash, I got $7.75. For the second order, that's when we went to CVS and I did a shop. In total, that was $12 and that was again from DoorDash. My third order was from McDonald's. And then after this order is when we saw a pattern of me always going to McDonald's. That McDonald's is always very popular for me, so I tend to get a lot of good orders with a lot of low mileage. So I go to McDonald's a lot. So again, the third order was from McDonald's. That was for $9.02 and that came from Uber. So then my fourth order, I went back to McDonald's. That was for $7.75 and that was from DoorDash. After that, I had a fifth order that came from McDonald's as well. That was for $11.40 that came from Uber. Our sixth order was from McDonald's yet again, and that was for $10.25. That was from DoorDash. The seventh order was from uh, this restaurant called Crown of Indian. I originally picked it up for about $15. It was off of Uber, but she went in and gave me a little bit more of a tip. So overall, I actually earned $16.82 for that order. So that's always a plus to get more money than you think. The eighth order brought us back to McDonald's. That was for $9.25 that came from DoorDash. The ninth order was from McDonald's as well. That was for $8.81 and that came from Uber. And a nice plus was that on top of her tipping uh, for me within the app, she also gave me a cash tip. So I received $3 cash tip and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this right into my dollar jar. But again, any amount is appreciated because she definitely didn't have to tip after she tipped in the app. So I got that. And then my final 10th order was from, can we guess, McDonald's. And that was for $10.75 off of DoorDash. So if we put all of that together within Uber, I did four trips. That was for $46.05. 
Within DoorDash, I did six trips. That gave me a total of $57.75. So in total, we have our 10 trips and I made $103.80. So if we put that into how much I made per hour, I was out for six and a half hours. So if we divide that by 6.5, we get $15.96. So if you round that up, it's about $16 an hour. Again, not the best, but not terrible. Overall, my goal was $100, so I'm happy I was able to achieve that. Again, I just look back on the time when I first started Uber and DoorDash, and I was able to make $100 within like three to four hours. But I have to always keep in mind the circumstances of what we're living in. A lot of people don't have a lot of money. Um, but overall, this side hustle, it's variable. I do what I can. I also know that a few people were interested in my delivery bag that I use when I deliver. So I did get that from Amazon and I will leave a link for that down in the description. If you are interested and want to use that bag, I truly love that bag. When I have double orders, it just holds everything that I need. Um, so I would 100% recommend. It is an investment because it was a little bit pricey, but I've earned my money back tenfold for that bag. So yeah, guys, that is my Saturday. I'm going to call it a night and go to bed, and then I will pick up with you guys tomorrow morning on Sunday. Welcome back to another day here with the vlogs. It is currently Sunday, October 24th. And as of right now, it is 10, 17 a.m. And I am out door dashing and Ubering for the morning. I normally like to break my door dashes and Ubers with a morning shift for like breakfast and then a dinner shift. So typically I like to come out from 10 to two and then from like four or five to either eight or nine for like the dinner rush, depending on how busy the night is and how much money I need. But ideally that's when I would like to come out and do my deliveries. It's just that yesterday I had to do my grocery shop. So that's why I did like one big time slot for my deliveries. But anyway, as you saw this morning, I did wake up early to try and get a little jump start on some of the orders that I have to get out for my shop. So I wanted to prep that so that then when I go home after this, I can get started with working on those and have some orders ready to go out on Monday. Um, as of right now, when it comes to my deliveries, I'm probably not gonna show too much because I feel like yesterday I gave you guys like a good idea of what I do and it's really the same routine. Um, so as of right now, I'm just gonna be out here delivering until two and if anything happens, I will let you guys know. All right, everyone, so it is later on in the day. It is now three o'clock. Um, I finished my deliveries and stuff at two o'clock. So after I finished that, I went home and I had some lunch and now I'm back out and I'm waiting at Costco as we can see and it is ridiculous here. 
I normally would never come to Costco on a Sunday, but I did not realize I had absolutely no gas. So I have no choice but to sit and wait on this line. But after um, getting gas, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the car wash because my car is in dire need of a good, clean wipe down. So whenever I finally get out of this gas line, I'm gonna go and get Bella washed. And Bella is the name of my car if you didn't know. Okay, everyone, so Bella is looking so much better after that car wash, she's vacuumed, and I am just so satisfied. So I did take that money out of my car maintenance envelope, so I just wanted to let you guys know. And for me, no car wash is complete without putting on my black ice air freshener, so I'm gonna put that on. But I wanted to quickly share a tip with everyone. Um, when it comes to DoorDash and Uber Eats or any really self-driving delivery apps or whatever be sure to keep track of all of your receipts i am going to keep my receipt for the car wash that i just did and i'm going to keep the receipt for the gas that i just got for my car and all of those will be written as a tax write-off so make sure you keep track of all of that that's why i track my miles even if you buy a new charger if you buy a new mount for your phone in the car all of those things are expenses for your business so they can be written off so I keep track of all of my receipts. And speaking of receipts, I also have to mention the Fetch app. I love this app. It came in handy yesterday once I was done grocery shopping and going from all of these stores. Any receipts that you get with these apps, you can scan them, get points, and then you can use those points as gift cards. So definitely, if you haven't heard of the app, be sure to check it out. I do have a referral code down in the description if you would like to check it out. If you sign up, you would get 2,000 points and I would get 2,000 points after you scan your first receipt. And it's very simple and you're gonna spend the money anyway, as I always say, so why not get some cash back or points back for it? But yeah, guys, now it's about four o'clock. I done tired myself out with all of that vacuuming of the car. So I'm gonna rest up for like an hour, go back to my house, and then I'm gonna come back out in Uber at five o'clock to get the dinner rush. I am like $45 away from my goal of $100. So I'm gonna try and shoot for that. And then if I can finish early, I'm gonna go back home and finish working on my Etsy orders. So yeah, that is my typical Sunday. again everyone so we are now at the end of the night for Sunday I am finally back home and I am about to wrap up the current orders that I have left but before I do that I just wanted to quickly recap you all on my earnings within Uber for today so uh, this morning we did two shifts I worked from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. so that was four hours and then I went out again later on in the evening from 5 to 7 and that was for two hours so as a total I was out for six hours today so within Uber I did seven trips and those seven trips amounted to $72 with 74 cents and with DoorDash, I did six trips and that equaled $50.75. So in total, I did 13 trips and altogether that was $123.49 that I made for my Sunday. So if I once again do that based on the hours that I worked, that gives me $20.58. So if you round that up, that's about $21 
an hour that I was able to make today. So um, much better totals than yesterday. And overall for the total miles that I put on my car, it was 66 miles. So there we go. Those were my totals for my two days with my deliveries. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish wrapping up my orders for the night. So there you have it. That is how I'm going to wrap up my night. I would like to thank you all so much for hanging out with me this weekend. I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did, then please be sure to let me know down in the comments below and show your support by giving a big thumbs up to this video because that will really help me out as well. If you are enjoying the content and you aren't subscribed yet, then please be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the family. And with all of that being said, that's all I have. And I will see you all next time in my next video. Bye guys.